Welcome back everybody, this is always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can extract a YouTube metadata of any video using Python. I make a lot of YouTube videos and sometimes I'll talk about the topics which already been spoken by somebody on the YouTube and their video ranked number one or in top 10. And one of the main reasons why video get ranked is by using the proper tags. So I'm going to show you how you can extract tags from a YouTube video by using a Python script. And I'm really excited because this script helped me to see what are the tags being used in particular video on a YouTube. So I can use the similar tags and get my video ranked as well. So I'm really excited. Let's get straight into my computer and I'll show you how you can do that. All right, so IDE I'm using is PyCharm. That's my favorite IDE by Jeff Rains. And I've created this virtual environment in Python and I've got this file, YouTube scrapper.py file. So first of all, we're gonna have to install some dependencies. I'm going to copy the pip3 script here and we need pip install. I'll show you request underscore HTML and BS4. Once you have that running, then we are going to go to the file and we are going to just, let me just zoom in a bit so we can see it better. So we got from request.html and I'm going to import HTML session. Okay, and also you need BS4 and then we're gonna have to import beautiful soap. I'm just gonna say as BS. All right, and after that, we are going to basically create a session. So I'm just gonna create a session variable and we're just gonna say, yeah, it's HTML session. Next up, we are going to create a function which will give us some details about the video. So I'll just do def and I'm gonna name my function get, I'll just use underscore like a Python convention. So get video meta data okay and this function first of all we are going to create a response and that would be session dot get url and url we need to pass in from a parameter okay now this is the response that we're going to get so whatever the url that we pass into this function we're going to use this session variable and there's a function called get and then the url so this will give us the response Next, we are going to execute the JavaScript, which we get from our response. So let me just probably write the comment. So execute JavaScript. And then here we're going to do response.html.render. And then render, we're going to do sleep one. Okay. We are going to create a beautiful uh, soap object to pass HTML. So for that, I'm going to use soap variable and then we're gonna use BS. And what we need to pass in, first of all, response.html.html. And then we're gonna use html.parser. Now let's create a dictionary. So we'll just say video meta. And we're just gonna leave that empty for now. Now, first of all, we are going to actually use this soap object now to actually filter out stuff from our, uh, you know, past HTML. So first of all, let's try getting a title. I'm going to write a comment. So let's say video title. And then what we need is a video metadata. And we're gonna use this title. And I'm gonna set that equal to, I'm going to use bs.find and I'm going to, use this bit here so let's just let me actually copy and paste this here so we don't have to worry about this okay now next thing we are going to print the video metadata right so I'll just use the print function and i just pass in video metadata all right let me identify now we're going to go outside this function block and I'm going to call the function get video metadata and here we need to pass in a URL for a video. Now I'm going to go and find a URL from one of my video for my channel. Let me take you to the browser and for example I would like to see 
what is the title of this video which i can see it's a django app using elastic bean right click and i'm gonna copy a link location and i'm going to paste that here okay next go to terminal and i'm gonna use python and then youtube scrapper i'm gonna press return on a mac and now i'll see the tile getting printed in our uh, video meta object so here i've got an error saying prepare. okay don't worry about this one the notion session is given that's fine but here you can see the title came back so deploy django app using elastic bean now we were successfully able to create a session we were able to get the video metadata now i can get the video views as well so let me just go and push that here I'm going to just zoom out a little so we can see more stuff. And now here I'm going to type video views and that would be video views. And then we can choose views as an object and then equal to this bit. Okay. That's quite a bit. You can copy paste. I'll drop this script in the description of this video. So don't worry about it. Now let me go and run this again and let's see if we get the results as we expect. And it's pretty cool that you can you get you know so here's a twenty thousand six five five. Let's go and verify that. So that's twenty thousand six six three. So probably this is outdated because I haven't refreshed the page. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how you can get the tags, which is why you're watching this video, right? So video tags. Now tags are pretty good because you can do a lot more uh, when you have a tags of a uh, most famous uh, videos. You can copy paste so you can use those to rank your videos so i'm going to paste here or something like video meta and then we can use let's just say tags that should be fine i'm going to paste this bit here and now what it's going to do it's going to go and get the all the meta property and within the meta property we have a property an og video that tag so this is what it's going to target and then here I'm doing a bit like, you know, I'm going to separate that with the comma. Now let's uh, run this bit. And let me just go and run the code. And now you will see that we will have all the tags. Okay, there you go. So all of the tags are here. Now you can go and copy paste those in the new video. Now let's to verify, I'll just copy this link. For my java complete tutorial and let's uh, paste that here so let me just paste that link there now let's run it again i mean i just you know clear this bit and let's run the code and now i should see a different title and a tags should be different okay so here you go we got title you got a uh, complete code java programming and here all the tags Okay, now this is very useful if you want to grab tags, right? I've already explained that. So there's a lot of uh, other metadata that you can grab. Let me just paste a few of the things here. For example, a description, date published, and also some dislikes. I will drop this code snippet in the... Uh, in the description of this video so make sure to check that out all right so let's save this bit and i'm going to run that again let me just clear the terminal first and let's just run it and let's see if we get all the details that we were expecting okay there we go so we got something like description so that's the whole description of the video. A date it was published a long time ago, 2020, 22nd October, 2016. Uh, how many likes, how many dislikes. And yeah, uh, as you can see, our code snippet is working. Uh, I'll drop this snippet in the description of the video. Check it out. And if you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.